I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca, and in this video, we're answering five of the most popular web search questions about gasoline and octane. Question 1. How does a gasoline engine work? Every gasoline engine is powered by a continuous series of small and highly controlled explosions that take place within its cylinders. The explosions are created when gasoline is ignited by the spark plug, generating heat and force that the engine uses to drive the car. Dr. Mark Jones is an expert on octane additives and a chemistry consultant with experience in hydrocarbon and petroleum research. He explains, the explosion of gasoline in an engine, like a batter in baseball, has to wait for the right moment to get the best result. Swinging early or late will give a poor result, a miss or a foul. Home runs come from swinging the bat at the right time and maximizing the energy transfer. Dr. Jones's analogy illustrates the importance of explosion timing. If gasoline ignites within your engine before the spark plug intends it to, extremely harmful engine knock or detonation can be the result. And since your engine runs on a stream of rapid and continuous explosions, that precise timing is incredibly critical. In fact, it's so important that both automakers and fuel manufacturers go to great lengths to make sure that modern engines and modern fuel play nice together in order to keep that all-important explosion timing in check. What is engine knock? According to Dr. Jones, compressing a gas like a fuel and air mixture causes it to heat up. Sometimes the heating is enough to cause an explosion before the spark plug ignites it, like a batter swinging too early at a pitch. A premature release of energy isn't what you want, he says. Knock, or detonation, is basically an ill-timed explosion within a rapidly spinning engine that can cause immediate, serious, and even fatal damage. Dr. Frankie Wood Black, the Division Chair for Engineering, Physical Science, and Process Technology Division at Northern Oklahoma College, and a petroleum and chemical industry expert, says, To understand this, you have to envision the cylinder in a gasoline engine. As part of the stroke, the cylinder chamber is filled with an air-gasoline mixture as the piston is traveling down. As the piston rises, it will compress the mixture, and at a preset time, the spark plug will ignite it, causing the rapid push on the piston which is what ultimately propels the car. As the stroke continues, the piston pushes out the exhaust gases and the cycle repeats. So according to Dr. Wood Black, in order to ensure the engine doesn't knock, the air and gasoline mixture needs to have a steady push. If it burns too rapidly, you essentially punch the piston downwards instead, causing knock. What is octane? Dr. Jones says, higher performing engines operate at higher pressure. They're said to be high compression. Higher compression makes premature explosions more likely, but chemistry can help. Dr. Jones says the right additives can moderate the tendency of a fuel to pre-ignite. The higher the octane, the less likely it is to cause knock. That's why filling your car's gas tank usually involves selecting from one of several options, each with a different numerical octane rating and a corresponding increase in price. Usually, higher performing engines require higher octane levels to achieve peak performance. So in simplified terms, fuel with a higher octane rating is designed for use in certain types of engines, since it offers better resistance to performance-robbing premature explosions. How is gasoline made? Dr. Bill Carroll is an adjunct professor in the Department of Chemistry and an expert on octane additives and petrochemical industry processes. Dr. Carroll explains how gasoline comes from separating components out of crude oil. He says, a barrel of oil is a mix of chemical compounds, kind of like a bowl of mixed candy. About 10% of the volume of crude oil would qualify as gasoline if you just separated the right molecules out. So imagine a bowl of assorted candies, some small, some large, some round, and some flat. This assortment of candies, or molecules, makes up the crude oil. The crude oil is subjected to a process called distillation, which separates those molecules from one another by boiling point. After distillation, each of the molecules are separated by type, not unlike sorting through the bowl of candies individually to arrange each type into their own separate little pile. Dr. Carroll says the biggest of these molecules are too big to boil, and they qualify as asphalt if they're used as is. But a chemical process called catalytic cracking or reforming can reduce their size and make them just the right size and shape to be gasoline. That's what a refinery does. Finally, before it reaches your tank, gasoline can get other additives that help it burn just right in an engine. Dr. Carroll says this is what the researchers invent and the oil companies and automobile companies optimize so you don't have to. Which octane should I use? Modern gasoline engines vary widely from one another even though they all work in more or less the same way. Some high-performance engines require strict use of a high-octane fuel at every fill. 
while other modern turbocharged engines are designed to deliver optimal power on regular 87-octane gasoline, delivering top power on high-octane gas but happy to run with lower output on regular grade fuel if owners prefer. Dr. Wood Black says an octane rating that is too low will cause the engine to knock and ultimately damage the engine. Similarly, an octane level that is too high may also result in engine damage. Dr. Wood Black says as automobiles have evolved and become more electronically tuned, it is recommended that you use the octane designated in your owner's manual. My name's Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Hit that like button down below if you learned something new, and until next time, take care and drive safe.